Okay, so let's solve another problem dito sa under parenthesis strain. But this time is medyo realistic na siya. So may involvement may involvement na ni Poisson ratio, no? So anyway, the Poisson ratio, yung formula niya is just uh, negative nung strain, nung indirect all over yung strain na uh, direct. So, pag sinabi natin direct na strain, so, kung yung force mo is nag-act along X, so, yung direct strain is yung doon sa strain along X. Okay? Kung sa, uh, yung direct is kung saan yung application mo in-apply. So, like, in-apply mo siya sa X direction. So, yung strain at X direction, yun yung uh, direct strain. No? Yung indirect is yung sa, kung in, yung application mo sa along X. So, yung indirect is yung Z and Y axis. Okay? So, anyway, the formula is just negative nung strain indirect over the strain sa direct. Where yung strain, we know, that is just the uh, deformation over the original uh, length. No? And by Hooke's law, that is also equivalent to stress over the elastic modulus. Okay? So, let's have an example for Poisson ratio. So, for instance, meron tayong uh, 100, m, 100 mm na length na rod. And meron siyang diameter na 15 mm. So, yung diameter nito is 15 mm. Okay? So, ngayon, may in-apply tayo na tensile load, meaning yung rod na to is sinihila natin, no? For a magnitude of 10 kN. So, so, yung application is along X. Okay? So, yung direct strain is EX. No? Strain at X. So, determine daw yung change in diameter. So, bali, kung hinila natin to, so, yung mangyayari sa rod natin is uh, mahila siya. Mahila, mahila siya ng ganito. Meaning, liliit yung diameter niya. Tsaka, tataas yung length niya, no? So, medyo realistic siya, no? Diba? Kasi pag hinila mo yan, so, in return, yung volume niya is mag-change din, no? Kasi wala mang nawala sa volume, eh. No? So, kung nahila natin to along, uh, along x direction, so, meaning, yung diameter niya is also uh, mag-displace, no? So, Yun yung tinatanong sa problem. Ano yung change in diameter? So anyway, uh, given yung elastic modulus ng rad na to, which is 70 gigapascal, and meron siyang Poisson ratio na 0 0.35. So, to solve for this one, we know that Poisson ratio is just equivalent to negative ng indirect all over yung sa direct. Okay? So, bali yung sa uh, indirect is meron tayong so yung diameter is di ba yung diameter is along Z axis, no? Or Y axis. So, pwede tayong magpili dyan sa dalawa. Anyway, so this will be uh, strain ng Z axis all over nung strain nung x-axis or itong sa along y na, it doesn't matter so diameter kasi strain in along y-axis over strain sa x-axis so yung direct is sa x-axis kasi yung point of application natin is along the x-axis so we know the strain is uh, deformation so yun yung change in diameter Kasi yung nagbabago is meron tayong diameter. So yung nagbabago is yung diameter. So yun yung deformation. So we have uh, change in diameter over yung original diameter. Yung DO. Okay? Don't forget the negative sign. And then for strain along X, we know uh, we have itong formula. No? Stress along x all over yung elastic modulus 
So, we can now substitute yung mga values dito. So, bali yung stress along x, computing ko muna. That is force over area. No? So, yung force is yung along x. So, we have 10 kN na application. So, we multiply it by 1000 to, to make it new, in newton. While yung area is meron tayong pi over 4, 15 mm squared. Okay? So, bali may sagot tayo dito na uh, 56.588 megapascal. So, this one is 56.588 megapascal. So, yun na yung stress natin along x. So, we can now substitute this one. So, we have the Poisson ratio of 0 0.35. So, negative nung tinatanong, change in diameter over the original diameter which is 15 mm. And then, we have stress along x which is 56.588. And then, we have this elastic modulus na 70 gigapascal. No? So, we make it megapascal or newton uh, per square mm or we have megapascal and megapascal so cancel out so to solve uh, we can now have the value of change in diameter so using our calculator it is equivalent to negative uh, 4.2411 times 10 to the negative 3 mm or in decimal that is negative 0 0.00 4, 2, 4, 1, 1, mm. So, ito na yung sagot. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung Poisson uh, ratio. Okay, so, see you sa next na video. Tingnan.